So today we're looking at another way to ingest data into the Azure Fire Service, the Azure Health Data Service, which is Microsoft's uh, Fire Server. And I've already shown an example of HL7 version two coming from an EMR system in a previous video. I'll put the link in this video below. Uh, but today I'm gonna focus on CCDA format. This is really HL7 version three. These are XML files that are created. Uh, they can be created by any EMR. It's required uh, that they are able to do this. And this is another way to exchange uh, patient chart, patient record information, encounters, et cetera. And so I've got an example here of, a, of an EMR3 with patient's data, and we're gonna use the CCDA format. Similar to the HL7 uh, converter, it uses liquid templates uh, that are open source to then process the CCDA file into a fire bundle. Those fire bundles then are submitted to the Azure event grid, which is monitoring for the topic of fire bundle. And then the iHealth fire orchestration uh, capability from Pi Systems, this is a Microsoft ISV partner, will take apart that bundle, inspect it, uh, make sure that it's correct. It will also bounce that bundle off of the fire service to see if that information is currently in the fire service and what needs to be updated. Uh, so for example, if a patient changes their phone number or address, like demographic information, it will then check, is the patient there? If they're there, then update just that information that needs to be updated. Also, it can trigger uh, additional logic app flows to go, say, update that demographic information in Microsoft Dataverse, or maybe trigger an order processing uh, workflow so that we uh, say mail a remote patient monitoring kit to a patient. But that's basically the flow. So I'm gonna go show you some CCDA data and how we ingest that into the fire service. So now I've got a folder up here uh, called Epic CCDA. It could be any EMR, I just labeled it Epic. And inside this, inside this folder, we will see that there's a variety of different CCDA files. Again, these are XML files. I've just, these are just open, open source files and different, different systems. Uh, and I can say double click on this discharge summary and you can see that it's an XML uh, formatted file and has the uh, various information in XML format. Uh, so this is examples of the different CCDA files. And it's very easy. So once I've got the data and this, this is an automated process, I'm just gonna trigger it manually. So as data flows out of the EMR, you can collect it into a folder and have this process run automatically. Uh, and, and that gets set up uh, with, the, with the solution from Pi System. So I'm gonna double click on this uh, Epic CCDA and it will open up a, a little dialog box and tell me the conversion has started. And now it's uh, processing that information into the Azure Fire Service and orchestrating it. And once that's done, I can go over to our uh, Teams on Fire uh, native Teams application to just check out the data. I've selected the order by time here at the bottom so that I can see the new records that are created. And we can see that it is, the date is 1012 and the time is 941. And we can see the uh, CCDA files that were ingested and orchestrated into the solutions. So we can see a variety of those and I can double click on one of these records and we can see the date of birth and the gender and the phone number and other demographic information was ingested. And let's see what else for her. Is there any conditions that were that come over? And sure enough, here's the conditions that have come over. And so that's just a quick demo of how easy it is uh, using the Pi Systems tool in conjunction with uh, Azure and the Microsoft Azure Health Data Service to ingest CCDA files into um, Microsoft land. Thanks for watching and come back for the next one.